Four families of the 10 people who died at the Astroworld Festival have turned down Travis Scott's offer to pay for funeral costs. Attorneys for the families of four of the victims said Tuesday, November 30th, that they received a letter from Scott's attorney in which the offer was made. In a letter sent November 24 to the family of nine-year-old Ezra Blout, the youngest person to die from injuries suffered during Scott's concert, Scott's attorney extended his deepest sympathies and condolences, saying Scott had wanted to reach out personally but does not wish to intrude on Mr. Blout's privacy during his time of grieving. Scott's attorney went on to say Travis is devastated by the tragedy that occurred at the Astroworld Festival and grieves for the families whose loved ones died or were injured. Travis is committed to doing his part to help the families who have suffered and begin the long process of healing in the Houston community. In response, an attorney representing the Blout family declined the offer, saying that while he believes Scott feels remorse, Scott must see that he bears some of the responsibility for this tragedy. Scott's attorney did not immediately return a call or email seeking comment Tuesday. An attorney for the family of 27-year-old Mirza Danish Beg said he viewed the offer to pay for funeral costs partly as a public relations ploy by Scott to soften people up in the court of public opinion. And an attorney for the family of 14-year-old John Hilgert also declined Scott's offer, along with the family of 21-year-old Axel Acosta Avila. Some 300 people were treated at the festival site during the Astroworld tragedy, and 13 were hospitalized. More than 100 lawsuits have been filed already against Scott, promoter Live Nation, Scoremore, and other organizers of the event for negligence. Rapper Megan Thee Stallion has also just announced that she's canceling a hometown Houston show slated for December 3rd, out of respect for the victims of last month's tragedy. All right, for more on this developing story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.